Good morning friends. Welcome back to Pannika's tutorials. In the last few videos, I have discussed about the primary data types such as int, char, float, void, all these things I have discussed in detail. I hope you have watched those videos. If you did not watch those videos, I request you to go back and watch those videos and come back to this video for better understanding. In this video, I want to discuss about user defined data types such as enum and type def. So I request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding. First, let me define about enum, then I will discuss about the type def. What is an enum? It is a user defined data type, okay, which assigns name to the integral constants. First, let me discuss with an example, then I will discuss some more concepts related to the enum, okay. Suppose let's take the you are taking an enum a variable a true and false okay you are defining it as a globally and you have void main okay inside that one you are declaring a variable b of type enum a then what you are doing you are assigning b is equal to false okay is it clear and then you are printing print of percentage d b okay and then you are writing get ch and close it okay now let's see what will happen this p is small p don't worry this is print of percentage d b now look at this one enum is a user defined type okay and i am giving the name such as true and false what is this one will do assigns name to integral constant so you are assigning name true and false okay and you are creating a variable of enum a and you are take assigning the value false to the b okay now print of percentage db get ch what is this program will give you the output that is the first thing remember one thing if you look at here you have assigned the names but you did not assign the integral constants to it now by default enum will assign the value as zero this one it will assign the value zero and the next one zero plus one it will be 1. If you have another name, it will be 1 plus 1, 2. So, the, for the true, the value is 0. For the false, the value is 1. So, you have written a statement called b is equal to false. Nothing but it is b is equal to 1. If you are printing the b value as an integer, obviously, it will print the output as 1. So, this is about the enum with an example. I hope you have understood. Now, lot of students will ask me the doubt, sir, the same thing the hash define also will do because even it also assigns names to the integral constants. What is the syntax of hash define? Hash define some b 10. This is the syntax of hash define. Am I right or wrong? Now, wherever you want to use the b, then the macro will keep the value 10 there. But what is the problem with the hash define is that it should be assigned it as a global variable or it should be defined as a global variable. But enum you can even define it as a local variable also. But here for your understanding I have defined it as a global variable but always the hash defined you should declare it as a global variable. And one more thing with the hash define is that the compiler will not assign a default value to it. But whereas an enum, if you look at here, for the true, the default value has assigned as 0 and for false, it has assigned the value as 1. That is not possible in the hash define. Okay. Now, let me discuss with an example where you can declare this enum as a local variable. Now, if you are declaring it as a local, then what will happen? Within that function only you can use. But if you declare it as a global, then you can assign, you can use it in the entire program. Okay. Now, let me discuss where I can declare the 
enum as a local okay void main okay the same program i will write enum a true comma false okay is it clear and or even i can write here the variable name b okay now i can write b is equal to false print of percentage d b get ch now also it will print the output as 1 but what is the difference we are declaring the enum as a local variable within this function only so i hope you have understood the difference between hash defined and the enum now let me discuss some interesting points related to the enum okay Now, listen carefully. The first interesting point is that the names can have same number of integral constants also. Let me tell you with an example. Suppose let's take that you have void main. Okay. And you have the enum a. Okay. X is equal to 0. Y is equal to 0. Z is equal to 0 okay is it clear now if you look at here in the previous one if you does not assign any values here by default it is taking it as zero here it will be next zero plus one it will be one but here i am assigning the names to the integral constants for zero i am assigning the name called x here also for zero i am assigning the name called y here for zero i am assigning the value z whether it is allowed or not we will look at it okay so now if i do print of percentage d percentage d percentage d because i want to display this x y and z values as an integer so i am writing this statement okay is it clear see there will be hash include stdr.h you can write that one just to make you understand this one i am writing this one now if you look at this one what is the output it will be displaying it will be displaying 0 0 0 so this is the first interesting point don't think that you should assign a name for an integral constant uniquely but here if you look at here for a 0 you are assigning the name as x for 0 you are again assigning the name as y for 0 you are assigning the name as z and if you are displaying them you are getting the zeros and 0 and 0 three zeros you are getting is it clear this is the first interesting point and another interesting point is that you can assign the values randomly. Okay, suppose let's take that here you assign the value 34. Okay, here you did not assign any value. Then here you assign a value called minus 2. Let's take that. Now if I display these values, what are the values it will display? I hope it is visible for you. For x I have assigned value 34, y I did not assign any value, z I assigned value minus 2. Is it clear? Meaning is that for the integral constant 34, I assign the name as x. For integral constant minus 2, I assign the name as z. Now if I display the values, what is the values it will display? People will say that sir for 34, means for x 34 will be displayed, for y we don't know for z minus 2 will be displayed these two things you are very confident am i right 34 and minus 2 is very confident what is the y value it will print as i told you earlier here when it is 0 the next value will be 0 plus 1 that's why it was 1 so similarly here y what is the previous value if you does not assign any value for this one what is the previous value is there even if it does not have any value then this will be 0 and this will be 1 because this is the first one. But here it has a, some value 34. So then it will be 34 plus 1, it will be 35. Is it clear? So this is the second interesting point related to the enum. Okay, I hope you have understood. It is not like that every time you have to assign from starting from the 0. You can assign any random value. If it does not assign any value, 
then it this value will be previous value plus 1 okay so this is about the next interesting point now the third interesting point i want to discuss is that can i write z is equal to 2.5 is it a valid statement or not you know that 34 x is 34 you will think that it will print 34 y is just now you said that sir y does not assign any value it will be 34 plus 1 it will be 35 and z is equal to 2.5 sorry 2.5 if you are thinking that this is the output then it is wrong please read the definition of an enum what i am saying it assigns names to the integral constant whereas 2.5 is a real constant so it is not possible and when you execute this program it will give an error because enum is useful for us to assign names to integral constant whereas 2.5 is a real constant so it will give an error for you please note down this point okay is it clear now let me discuss another fourth important point related to the enum is suppose let's take that here you have written enum some a x is equal to 0 y is equal to 1 z is equal to 10 this is okay enum another enum thing i have done now here i am assigning x value is 10 y value as some 12 z value is 15 is it clear and if i am trying to print x and y and z values what will be displayed what will be the output lot of people will think they will think that sir x value here was 0 here it is 10 so the updated value is 10 so it will print the value as 10 okay here y value is 1 here y value is 12 so the updated value was 12 here the z value is 10 here it is 15 so updated value is 15 so lot of students will think that it will display the output as 10 12 and 15 this is also not possible why it is so that in the same scope meaning is that in the same function you are assigning a name with a value 0 and again you are assigning the name x with 10 this is not possible it will give an error for you if you are using in another function that is okay but in the same function if you are doing like this it will give an error for you so i hope you have understood what is an enum how to use the enum what is the difference between the hash define and the enum okay and even i have discussed four interesting points related to the enum if you still have any doubts related to the enum feel free to ask me in the comment section now let me discuss about the type def type def is also a another user defined data type okay it can be used for aliasing the data types primitive data types okay now let me discuss about it I have type def, I have a data type, you, we have a data type and we have the alias name. Suppose let us take that alias name I am keeping, okay. Now what will happen? You have a data type and you have the name. If it does not write here, then this alias name will be the variable name of the corresponding data type. Am I right or wrong? Just for making you understand. Let's take that I am writing it as int a. Then what is the meaning? Here int is the data type and a is the variable of integer. If you are using a 16 bit compiler, then 2 bytes of memory will be allocated. That just few weeks, video, few videos back we have discussed this concept. Am I right or wrong? Now in place of this one, if I add a type def statement, then what it will do we will discuss now is it clear type def int a now let's take that from beginning of the c program you are habituated to write int a comma b comma c am i right where a comma b comma c are the variables and int is a data type similarly float some b like that you are habituated to write it but now you are thinking that I was feeling bored every time why should I write int, why should I write float but they should be written 
am i right because they are the primary data types because it will tell that these are the integer constant this is a real constant if you are using a char it is a character constant but in place of this int you want to use your own name am i like similarly here what i want to do is that in place of int i want to use parnika parnika a comma b comma c but it should work same way as the integer data type is working then how i can write it is that i can write type def int parnika then what is the meaning of this one is that in this program wherever you want to use int you can use the parnika so here if you write parnika a comma b comma c then it will work without any problem is it clear you are aliasing the name of the data type int with parnika just to make you understand let me discuss with a simple example okay let's take that hash include stdio.h you have written void main okay you have written type def int parnika okay and you have written int d is equal to 10 parnika a is equal to 5 b is equal to 6 c is equal to some 7 if you are writing print of percentage d percentage d percentage d percentage d because i want to display a b c d values so if i write a comma b comma c comma d and get c h if i write what is the output will be printed now you know that int d is equal to 10 meaning is that you are creating a variable called d whose data type is int and you are initializing the d variable with a value called 10 similarly for a b and c now if you look at here for the int you have given a duplicate name called parnika so in place of int you can use parnika and these are the integer variables only but the name only changed now a lot of people will think sir you change the name of int to parnika so this will give an error am i right lot of people will think sir this statement is correct but instead of int you are writing it as a parnika so here also you should write parnika but you have forgotten and you have written it as an int so it will give an error don't think like that because it is the original name and you are making it as a duplicate name still the original name you can use it so that's why this will work properly and it will give an output as 5 6 7 and 10 is it clear you can write it as int or you can write it as a parnika anything you can use it so i hope you have understood about the enum and type def if you still have any doubts related to these two concept feel free to ask me in the comment session i will try to clear your doubts in less than 24 hours thank you for watching the complete video have a nice day